Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Another Russian massive missile attack on Kiev happened overnight, and uh, there were 25 uh, missiles launched, and obviously the Ukrainians destroyed almost all of them. 23 out of 25. Surprise, surprise. Um, there were two waves of attacks. And uh, I think they destroyed the first, uh, the first wave of about seven or eight of destroyed. And then the second ones, they didn't destroy everything. I think the first one were eight. The second one were 17. Uh, and the second one, they destroyed 15 out of 17. Wow, that's a success. So 23 out of 25. Now, this, um, this video could uh, help certain people who still um, trust the media and trust the intelligence services of any country. Um, just to uh, help them see that, um, well, these guys uh, have been lying, uh, are, are lying and will be lying. And I'm generalizing because, because they all lie sometime. Um, why do I say that? The Russians, by launching, again, missiles, um, a missile attack on Ukraine, prove that they still have missiles and rockets. Uh, you may say, well, they're low. Well, they've been low since uh, April 2022. Actually, you know, it's been uh, more than a year and they still have them. So the ones who believed the mass media in April 2022 now should be all changed. You know what I mean? Because since April 2022, the Russians uh, kept going and going and going with the missile attacks. Therefore, someone has been lying because they've been saying over and over that the Russians have a low stock. They're almost low, almost down since April. I made a video in, on April and they say they're almost critically low in April. Somehow and then in May, in June and so on. They stopped, I think, between uh, about uh, July until about uh, October, November. They stopped and then again, they're low, they're low. They're still attacked. So, I got here uh, three articles that will bring us uh, details about this uh, massive attack. It seems like they also attacked from the Black Sea with their Calibre cruise missiles over there. So, let's start with the mildest um, article, which comes from Reuters. So, uh, Ru Russia launches new attack on Ukraine's capital, officials say. So, this is from May 8, 2023, at 10.20 p.m. So Kiev, Russia launches, launched an, about 15 cruise missiles at Ukraine's capital on Tuesday, the second attack in as many days, with air defense systems shooting all of them down, officials say, after air raid alerts blurred over most of the country. Now, this was um, overnight, but somehow they uh, put this picture over there. Anyway, doesn't really matter, but... Uh, let's quote this guy, as at the front, the plans of the aggressor failed, said he, Popko, head of the Kiev civil, city military administration, said in comments, po comments posted on Telegram. So, um, they, all, this, the, all this information they give about uh, 14, uh, 15 missiles, these guys, at this point. I have the other articles uh, telling us more. So, it says here that... Um, According to preliminary information, there were no casualties in the attack that was carried out with cruise missiles from the Caspian Sea region. So that came from the Caspian Sea and the second one came from the Black Sea. As far as I remember, I just skimmed through the other um, articles. Obviously, nobody was injured, but some debris were found on the road. So let's go to the next one. Another overnight Russian air attack on Ukraine. 23 out of 25 missile downed. Uh, again, that's a uh, daylight um, little uh, picture, but new voice of Ukraine. Okay, May 9th, 2023. Let's see what these guys are saying. Russia carried out a double attack on Ukraine, launching a total of 25 missiles in the late evening of May 8th and in the early hours of May 9th, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Valery Zaluzny, on Telegram. The first barrage of eight caliber cruise missiles on eastern region of Ukraine was launched from Russia's carriers in the Black Sea at about 10 p.m. on May 8. Wait a second, you said the first one was 15. 
Russia launched about 15 cruise missiles at Ukraine's capital on Tuesday, the second attack in as many days. All right, so this was the second one. They didn't mention the first one then. So let's go back here. So they did the eight Calibre missiles from the Black Sea, and then the Ukrainian Army Army's East Operation Command downed all of them. Wait a minute. So they downed all eight coming from the Black Sea, but then the other one, the other ones here, the 15, the 15, again, with air defense system shooting all of them down. Now guys, if you fit, shoot 15 down and then plus 8 down, there's not uh, a 20, was it 25 or what, 23? 25, wasn't it? 25, that doesn't, that's, that's made 23 only. So these are weasels. So where are the two ones that uh, uh, missed? You didn't mention it here. This must have been 17 here. And then the other one, 88. Uh, they would make 25, but they say Russia launched about. Okay, that's the keyword, about. We're missing two. <laughs> weasels, see? Me weasels, weasels, weasels. Well, anyway, then at about 4 a.m., so one was at 10 p.m., which was dark in Kiev, and the other one at 4 a.m., which is dark. Russia sent the text barrage, the next barrage of 17 X101 slash X555 cruise missiles from 4 to Pelov 95 MS strategic bombers flying in the Caspian Sea region. So the 17, they downed 15, the 8, they downed all of them, according to these guys. Kiev's air defense shot down all 15 cruise missiles from this barrage that were held, headed for the, for the capital. Now, it's confusing right now, but anyway, 17, and they destroyed all 15 cruise missiles. Anyway, the, <laughs> the breeze of intercepted missiles fell on the capital's uh, two districts here. There were no casualties or significant damage reported. So, you see, uh, they... Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. They, the Kiev defense shot down all 15, but then these guys sent 17. <laughs> and then they destroyed all 8, right? All 8. They said they destroyed all of them, downed all of them, and then we have 25, they destroyed 23. Anyway, even 25 out of 23 is, is, is 23 out of 25 is a good uh, ratio. Ukraine form, Ignat, Ignat says 100% of Russian missiles destroyed in initial wave of launches were the eight. So he said in the first wave of launch, 100% of the enemy's missiles were destroyed. Missiles were destroyed. And in the second wave, 15 out of 17 were destroyed. Good job. Very good clarifying the whole thing for us weasels. So the attack took place at around 10 p.m. Eight caliber cruise missiles were launched from ships in the Black Sea. All of them were destroyed. In the area of responsibility of the East Air Command, we worked 100%. At night, the enemy has already raised to Pelo 95 MS strategic aviation aircraft and launched 17, as I said, cruise missiles from the Caspian Sea, which were destroyed. Unfortunately, only 15 missiles were destroyed. 14 in the area of responsibility of the Center Air Command and one missile in the area of responsibility of South Air Command. Thus, we have a total of 23 downed cruise missiles on the night of May 9 out of 25 launched, Ignat said. Okay, according to him, ballistic missiles are not only the Kinzhal, but also the Iskander M and other missiles that are extremely threatening. So they send them uh, the Kinzhal again or not? It's KH, so I guess that's Kinzhal, isn't it? But they said from the Black Sea, Calibre. That's from the Black Sea. The Calibre 8 and the other one, the KH, that doesn't, is X. Which one was it? Here. I think they here they mentioned it. It was X. Okay, I guess it was not Kinzhal. So, according to him, ballistic missiles are not only Kinzhal. Okay, ba ba ba. A Ukraine form reported earlier on the night of May 9th. Russian invaders attacked the territory of Ukraine with sea and air launch cruise missiles. During two waves of shelling of Ukraine, the enemy launched 25 Calibre, thank you very much, and X -pa 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 cruise missiles. All right, 23 of them were destroyed. So we already know this one. Good. All right, I think that's a, uh, a good uh, ratio over there. 23 out of 25, that's a good one. It's in you know, 90 90 well, 90 some percent of the, the, the whole thing. So again, 
Remember my uh, uh, usually liberal friends and that I used to talk to when uh, President Trump was president. Uh, they were coming and talking to me. Hey, see, he's going to get arrested. Hey, the CNN. Oh, the idiot Meadow said this. Oh, uh, Le Mans said this. Oh, uh, the other weasel, what's his name? Cuomo said this. The CNN and others, MSNBC. Hey, Trump is going to be arrested. Yay, Trump is a criminal. Trump. I said, hey, hold your horses until you see Trump, you know, uh, arrested and, and uh, convicted and, you know, sent to prison. Uh, it's a long way. Wait. They were having a daily group masturbation in front of me, uh, you know, uh, intellectual. If they, I didn't want to use intellectual because they kind of lacked because they were so naive with this. They were telling me every day that Trump will get arrested. Trump is this. I said, man, wait, wait, wait. Nothing happened. Or, well, he's in pitch. Oh, he's in pitch. He's a crook. He's this. People, he's an outsider. No, he just, uh, he just, uh, you know, um, he puts everything together in such a way that he doesn't get arrested because it's corruption and all that. Hey, this guy is a, how do I call it, a uh, real estate mogul. He's a whatever personality, TV show. What insider is he of all this guy? He's not a politician. No, no, no. He's got his uh, old strings and all that. Do you have any evidence? No, but you just claim shit. So I hope those guys, which didn't understand four years of every day, this kind of bullshit thrown at them, they always bought it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't learn those guys were lying to them. And I think they were just giving them this daily drug so they can go on with their sad lives. Uh, you know, it's like the same with, uh, you know, drugs and all that. Take a drug or, oh, you get a hype. The same. They were always, oh, we're going to get him. We're going to get him every day. I hope they worked harder uh, during their hype time. But they didn't. And these guys vote. Remember. I remember one of these, uh, um, it was a woman. I asked her, okay, Trump is bad. Okay, can you give me, I said, first I said five. Can you give me five um, qualities that m Trump might have? Five. I gave, I said, five minutes or so. I waited, I don't know. 10, 15 seconds, she didn't come with anything. I said, okay, give me three. She couldn't give me any. I said, okay, let me help you. How about, you know, he's a good entrepreneur. He made money. She didn't buy that one. She started with the same bullshit. Uh, he got the money for his father. What well, do you think that if you get, let's say, $1 million, are you going to turn it into, let's say, 13 billion? Are you going to do that? I mean, don't you think that even with the inflation and devaluation of the money, you know, you still... To say that that million turned into 14 or 13 billion, how much you're worth at one point. You know, I think like right now is 3 billion or something, 4 billion. Even though he didn't lose. Oh, he, he filed for bankruptcy. Oh my God. His whole company or just one company out of 25 that he owns? Jesus. And if he did it, good job. He came back and he was stronger and better. Isn't that a quality? Bah, 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 bah. And these are the people who vote, my friends. These are, are the people who celebrate and they just buy everything these guys are telling them. Well, Patriot destroyed the Kinzal. Hold your horses, take it easy, wait a little bit. No, they don't learn. Hey, they, they, they don't have missiles anymore. Now, you believe these guys or don't believe them, these guys that they, uh, they sent 25 missiles? And they sent 25 missiles today and they sent some missiles like 18 or whatever three days ago and they said this they still have them don't they you can't argue this logic is not their um i was about to say strong point their point okay they lack it entirely and anyway uh i think it's intellectual dishonesty the problem is these guys live their lives these are not like children you would expect as a toddler up to about uh, i don't know 14 you ex kind of accept this kind of irrationality but you have adults and you have them in positions of power some of them so then i'm talking about uh, directors supervisors whatever I, I spoke with so these guys make decisions important decisions you know, law enforcement officers and all that um, teachers uh, people that i spoke with they think this way so these guys make decisions remember that uh, anyway these guys vote this is the whole thing how in the hell they drive a car Let's say at one point is a red light. They say, well, I don't like this red light. I think it's a green light. Go. Why don't, why don't they do this? They ignore reality because they don't like it. And they live. They're alive. They're, they're among us. And I think they're more numerous because it seems like thinking uh, right is very hard. 
when I say right, you know, you're using certain kind of methods of thinking, be objective, accepting the information, verifying, being logical and all that, you know what I mean? Uh, something that you develop with time, you're not born with it, you develop with time, you train your brain. But seems like these guys identify as intelligent and then they are intelligent. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.